SAS has several technologies for working with data stored in a Hadoop cluster. This video briefly explains how SAS can leverage those capabilities for accessing data hosted in Hadoop. I'm Rob Collin with SAS, and this is the Technical Insights and Expertise Series. Hadoop storage is for big data. If standard SAS optimization techniques such as indexes are no longer meeting your performance needs, then storing the data in Hadoop could improve performance in many circumstances. Hadoop then is another great tool to add to your workbench along with SAS for dealing with your most challenging data and analytics objectives. Now let's talk about the basics of Hadoop, and we're going to start with racks of server machines. Each server has its own operating system, CPU, RAM, and disk. You will install the Hadoop software onto each server machine, and then they all work together as a single group of services which are highly available and very scalable. These services include the Hadoop Distributed File System, or HDFS, which acts as disk-based storage where data is split into chunks and saved across all nodes. Those chunks of data are replicated for high availability and performance. MapReduce which is a programming paradigm for splitting processing tasks up to run across multiple nodes to act on chunks of data where they reside. And finally, Hive, which provides data warehousing infrastructure, providing a SQL-like front end to store data in HDFS and run queries as MapReduce jobs or even in Spark. Now, there are many more Hadoop services and capabilities not shown here, but we're going to stick with these fundamental ones for now. The number one way that SAS can get the data in Hadoop is that base SAS can already work with HDFS directly. Base SAS software is where most analytic processing occurs. It's the foundation of any SAS solution. So if you've got SAS at all, then you already have base SAS. Base SAS can read and write plain text files as well as partitioned SAS scalable performance data engine files. The Speedy Engine is utilized by Base SAS to partition data across multiple I.O. channels. You can connect Base SAS to Hadoop by providing your Hadoop user credentials in addition to using SAS file name and live name statements as well as the data step and the SQL and scoop procedures. Number two is the SAS Scalable Performance Data Server. Speedy Server is a standalone software separate from the rest of SAS, and it extends on the concept of the Speedy Engine tables mentioned before by providing dedicated capabilities for intensive parallel processing of data. Speedy Server can read and write its partitioned files over to HDFS as well. Connection is managed by providing Hadoop user credentials again using SAS live name statements and with configuration in Speedy Server itself. Number three is the SAS Access interface to Hadoop software. SAS Access gives us the ability to read and write data stored in Hive as well as offering the SQL pass-through facility. It supports submitting your own MapReduce, HiveQL, and PIG code to run in Hadoop. You connect SAS Access by specifying your Hadoop user credentials through the SAS live name statement, as well as by running the SAS data step and using ProxySQL. Number four is the SAS laser analytics server and its ability to use the SAS HDAT file format. Laser is an in-memory analytics engine which can be loaded from any data source directly accessible by SAS in your environment. Laser offers the optional ability to read and write data directly to HDFS using the SAS HDAT format, and it can do the same thing with plain text files as well. SAS HDAT is optimized for high performance environments, offering the fastest and most efficient mechanism to load large volume data into Laser. SAS HDAT, therefore, acts as an excellent mechanism for storing data which needs to be rapidly reloaded into Laser later. To take advantage of SAS HDAT, we need distributed mode laser deployed symmetrically across all the HDFS nodes of a Hadoop cluster. Number five are the SAS in database products. SAS in database technology brings the analytics to the data instead of the more conventional approach of transferring data over to the analytic engine. The key component of the SAS and database products is the SAS embedded process, which runs in Hadoop as a set of MapReduce jobs. 
the EP enables scoring acceleration, code acceleration, and data quality acceleration functionality in SAS solutions. The EP also supports the ability to load data in parallel from Hadoop over to a remote distributed laser analytics server. It supports transfer of plain text files from HDFS, as well as partition data, which has been stored in speedy engine or speedy server files in HDFS. And it can also parallel load data stored in tables from Hive. You must deploy the EP to all MapReduce nodes of your Hadoop cluster in order to get this functionality. Now, we've barely scratched the surface of SAS capabilities with Hadoop here. The SAS website offers a wealth of information about integration of SAS software offerings with Hadoop, so please visit sas.com slash Hadoop to learn a lot more information that makes it relevant to you and your business. Thank you for viewing this video. Be sure to check back here with the Technical Insights and Expertise series for more information, demonstrations, and examples across a wide range of topics with SaaS software.